These are the restrooms. Go down the passageway on the right, and on the left side of the passageway is the wheelchair accessible and multi-purpose restroom. Hi, friends! Welcome to a very special edition of AMA TV. I'm Alicia, your host. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. This video is going to be a little bit different. It is a um, not your typical travel adventure video, although I am traveling. I'm on a 12-hour layover in Tokyo, Japan. I'm at the airport, and I just thought I would show you exactly how interesting, fascinating, and fantastic the bathroom facilities are here at the airport and probably all over Japan. I'm sure that a lot of these themes carry on throughout the country, so let me just show you and you can tell me. So we're gonna start out here in this uh, little private handicapped family bathroom, which might look like a high-tech medical facility. It is absolutely impeccably clean and full of great features. So we've got the sinks as standard or like a full shower type sink. We've got the toilet. We'll go over those in a minute. Child urinal is the um, big feature here because your child, you know, is not suited to use a regular toilet. We've gotta have a completely separate device. And this is probably the best part. All of these features, you've got <laughs> You've got the bidet, which is, you know, popular all over Europe. Um, Americans find it quite, uh, I don't know, excessive. And then warm air that you can dry yourself with after you bidet, which is nice. That's not something you see in Europe. And that's kind of the reason when I'm in Europe, every, or all Americans when we're in Europe, I think for the most part, we're kind of like, okay, this bidet, what do we do once we're all wet after? Eh. This is a little bit, yeah. Okay, we've got this. When I first saw this, I was looking at the charging board and I was like, what on earth kind of trippy, like sci-fi stuff is this? Um, but it's a changing board. So if you're changing your clothes, you don't want to have to step on the completely sterilized floor. You know, you're gonna wanna step on this very special board. Here's full instructions in multiple languages um, and graphics how to use the changing board. Fancy, fancy. Mm, I don't know if this competes with our Dyson dryers that we see around the States, but it looks pretty, pretty functional. For some reason, we've got three separate um, flushing options here. Nice dark wood with stainless steel. I wonder who designed this. Um, and the reason they have this, the first time I ever saw this, I was like, what on earth? But I've since learned that in a lot of um, uh, Eastern Asian countries and you know the Himalayas and places like that, that is actually how they use the bathroom in a squatting position and it's actually better for your intestinal system to fully cleanse itself. It's how humans were created to cleanse themselves is to kind of go into the like knees up squatting position. But apparently people take that a step too far and actually jump up on toilet seats sometimes. Um, to do their business that way. So they just don't want you to do that because they want to maintain the impeccable cleanliness of the bathroom, obviously. Now let me show you the standard ladies room because it's quite lovely as well as you'd imagine. Lots, many icons and many symbols to explain the many things going on in here. And the toilets are similar with all the fancy buttons. And this I'm not sure about. There's a urinal in the ladies room in all of them. I've been in all of them because I'm just bored <laughs> wandering around this airport. And they also have one of these toilets, your selection of toilet. Now this one, like I was explaining about the um, squatting, you can do this on this one because it's actually a preference for some people. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And it even shows you how to do it. And there's a nice little chair for your baby. Put your baby in the chair. It's like they thought of every problem you could possibly have in the ladies room and uh, they made a technical solution for it. The only thing they don't have is freaking paper towels. I mean, I understand the automatic hair dryer or hand dryer and everything, but I like to have at least just one paper towel to like wipe. If you need to wipe something off something, you know, it's kind of annoying, but it's okay. Nice fancy sliding doors. Nice fancy lock. Ultra secure. Also important to note that if you don't want to use this button to flush, there is an alternate hand waving option. So you don't even have to touch anything. Okay, you wanna adjust the pressure. 
Oh, I think it knows I'm not sitting on it. Yep, it knows, it knows. It probably knows I'm vlogging. Oh, and what's this? It's the best part. It is, um, literally sound effects. There's, there's uh, running water and birds chirping to cover up any sounds you might make, even though it's totally private in here and no one would hear you anyway. But um, yeah, that's lovely, lovely ambient noise. Everything seems pretty legit and nice. The only thing I can't quite figure out is the urinal in the ladies' room, but whatever. Overall here, there's a lot of uh, nice technology and all the basic comforts, internet service stations, and when I first got here, I was super tired, so I found this amazing, just, I wouldn't even call it a pod. They do have sleeping pods that I've seen around the world that you pay to really go into, and it kind of closes you up, and you're able to really take a nap. But this one was just like a, a private little um, booth, and it's awesome. And I was able to get very comfortable in here and crash for a few hours while my phone charged. And it was a bit hectic in here at first, but then I enjoyed the classical music of this presentation over here, which was lovely. So I slept to that for a few hours. If you do ever cruise through this airport, I highly recommend trying anything that is flavored um, with green tea. Like they mix green tea in with cookies and chocolate and all sorts of things. And oh, it's so good and good for you, matcha. We also have um, a smoking lounge in this airport, which is pretty gross but I guess it's better than smoking in the airport. Here we have all sorts of information about animals and quarantines for people to understand why you can't just bring random animals and insects and plants across international borders. The escalators are automatic, of course, so they're not on until you step on them. And then they know you're here, and then they start moving. In case you don't know where you are in this small terminal, we've got an interactive map. Oh, Burberry. Besides this to entertain me on my 10 hour layover, we've got duty free shopping. We've got lots of airport sushi, but I'm just gonna crack the laptop and see if I can get some editing done. I'm headed to the Philippines, like I mentioned in the last video, um, for a travel bloggers convention called TBEX that should be pretty amazing. Oh yeah. Because when I think breakfast, I think five pieces of sushi. Honestly, right now, I am just looking for coffee. Like, big American coffee with almond milk. <laughs> so in the absence of coffee on this 12-hour layover, I simply reverted back to childhood activities before heading out to the Philippines. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you find the bathroom facilities in Japan as extra special as I did. Subscribe now to AMA TV to stay tuned for all that is coming up from the Philippines. I've also got another Amsterdam video in the works as well as some more info on what gear I use to film these travel videos. In the meantime, check out my recent Burning Man series or any of these other amazing travel adventure videos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!